we played with a little puppy cat called Boko Haram until he became a lion in our hands. We are right now playing again with the Hessman issue, which is also another little puppy, until he becomes another lion in our hands. The earlier we begin to address these issues, the better for us all. Thank you. Mark <clears throat> Oh, yes. I'll, I'll close a moment now with Emmanuel Ipebe. I want to ask you, how do you see this issue being resolved? Because whether or not we accept it, it's already caused some conflict of sorts. How do you want it to be resolved? That is the T.Y. Danjuan speech. Yes. The issue. Well, I will say that if you want to resolve a speech coming from somebody as T.Y. Danjuan, the reason why it's even making national prominence already, making headlines, is because T.Y. Danjuan said it. A lot of people have been saying the same thing. But nobody has been listening. But because T.Y. Danjuma, as they say in my place, is a big masquerade. So he's dancing now and everybody's coming out to watch. That's the problem. So, but if you want to solve this, it's you hold, and you, get, you hold an investigation into the military. Look at the military hierarchy. Look at what they have done consistently since this herdsman issue started. Who should be doing this investigation? Of course, the CNC should order the chief of army staff to look into it. Now, there's, a, there's an issue in law that says Nemo Jodex in Kosaswa that you should not be a judge in your own cause. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people will now say the military cannot actually investigate itself. I agree. Then set up an investigate and I mean an independent panel that will look into the activities of the military spanning a specific time since this headsman issue started. And then anybody who's been at fault, somebody who's not done his duties, let the person take the fall. Should it be open? Do you think it should be open or should it be a closed door investigation? Some people will say since it's borders and security, yeah, I th I think they should be a closed security, door. It should be a closed door investigation, but the results should be made public. Mr. Ipebe, I want to ask you very quickly. The other day we had the defense spokesman on and I asked him about the potential for uh, an internal surveillance program to track some of these uh, potential sleeper cells if they exist. What are your thoughts on that and do you think that uh, some, some of these discrete methods could work? Yeah, they could work, but the fact is, well, are they willing to do them? And if they do it, what happens to the spirit of Komorade? That they will want to come out and say, okay, we have people within our, within our unit who are actually giving out information or aiding bandits or headsmen. Mm. Well, how will they come out with that? So how then, I mean, doesn't that already poo-poo the idea that the military can investigate itself? Th that's what I'm saying, that mm. because of these issues, let them set, let the CNC set up an, an independent panel that will investigate the military. Made up of who? They can pick them, ex-military brass, uh, other security chiefs, and uh, maybe uh, top civil servants, top senior Nigerians who could look into the affairs of the military spanning a specific time. And independent people that will look into it critically, unbiased, look into it and say, okay, this is a national issue. Just as they're saying, the headsman issue, it's, you know, it's something we always play kid gloves with. But the killings are going on randomly. It is going on. These are the ones we see are the ones that are reported. Mm. What if that doesn't happen? I'm just wondering. I mean, because sometimes what we see is that someone will make an allegation, someone will issue a press statement, and oftentimes that's where the matter dies, even after the press has spoken about it. What if that doesn't happen? Do you see any consequences for, say, if the investigative panel is not set up? Yeah, the consequences that the killings will go on. We'll uh, keep having this blame game, and then we'll, there will be a complete distrust in the government. Now, this is also putting it within the context of the fact that only recently, I think it was the president who was saying that powerful individuals are behind the farmer herdsman crisis and we're making it boil over. Do you think that there, there could be some connection between the statement of General T.Y. Danjuma and what the president was saying? You see, I'm, I'm, I'm just sick and tired of the president uh, coming out to say powerful individuals. We had this always happening. Boko Haram era, you have uh, Jonathan saying that you have people sponsoring Boko Haram. Who are they? You're the CNC for Christ's sake. If you know who they are, bring them out. Let them face the law. Now the CNC is coming out to say powerful individuals, quote unquote. Who are these powerful individuals who is more powerful than you, the president of your country, that you cannot bring them to order? Because when you say they are powerful individuals, that means you know them. Mm. That's what it means. So for you, you question the intestinal fortitude of the president to deal with these issues? Well, of course, yes. That's what I'm saying. If you are saying they are powerful individuals, you are the CNC, then what it means is that you should bring them out. If it's an allegation, bring this allegation, let them come out and prove them, uh, prove themselves right or wrong, that they are not actually 
behind all of this, and then they can be free. But if they are, let them face the music. It's as simple as that. No need trading blame games or trying to hide behind any shield. No, it mm. doesn't work for me. It's a fine place to leave it. We have to thank you most kindly for coming on Sunrise Daily. Thank Imanuel you very much. Ekpebe is a legal practitioner, and he joined us here in our Abuja studios. It's back to you, Chamberlain. Very much, yeah. Well, thank you, Mark. Well, um, but kind of, I mean, some lawyers are reminding us. They say the legal meaning of co collusion includes concealing or aiding and abetting after the commission of the crime. Uh, that's a very deep one there. But <laughs> you speak about access, that he could have access, he has access, she used the access. Former yeah. president of passenger has access. Yeah. But he still wrote a letter. Mm -hmm. Is this word different from the letter that he wrote? No, it's not. If he wants to resort to letter writing too, okay. But I think um, physical access would do a lot. Even though I would agree, in the past, we have not really seen how much this has played out positively in addressing issues on ground. Yeah. But then, um, I know you said this, inaction. What if it's deliberate inaction? I doubt it. You know why I say I doubt it? Why? Uh, I think we've gone past the equity gate scandal where Fire Chair and his team were busy <laughs> trying to do very funny things involving no, the well, general well, and so on. We can't substantiate that, you know, because I think uh, let's, let's stay in the realm that we, <laughs> we know what we know. <laughs> we have to thank you for coming on this morning. Thank it's you so much. Stand level, a security <laughs> consultant. Well, back in a moment, don't go away.